Hey everyone, Jessica Peterson here from Simply Route Agency and a real estate agent with the Luxure Team brokered by eXp Realty. And I have the amazing Matt here with us out in sunny, beautiful California. Hey Matt. Hey Jessica. We're on the opposite coast, but we're both enjoying beautiful sunshine and beautiful weather. Yes, we were talking about that in Florida, the humidity and crazy hair, hair out here in beautiful Florida. And we're gonna have a coffee chat today because what really amazes about me about you, Matt, is that you're all about relationships and this is all about real estate agents who wow and at the end of the day it's about wowing you're a broker you have your own team um, you're also an attorney and i see you're out in your boat right now which is super cool <laughs> well, it, uh, am i allowed this am, am i allowed to use uh questionable language well i mean it's up to you I mean, this is... <laughs> <laughs> okay that's not too bad i thought you were going to say yeah. something else, so. you know, i'll try i'll try and stay away from my other language you know <laughs> But they say people who swear are more authentic and uh, truthful. Yes. So. yes, yes. And and I was raised, I would have gotten beat if I used a bad word. So that's a whole other funny conversation sometime. So anyhow, I want to have a conversation because as you know, I have a community of, of agents who have joined me, eXp Realty, and we all come together, mastermind and coach on ways to wow people, grow our business, create a wow life. What I love about you is is one way to wow you and I had this open raw real conversation I'm a certified life coach it's only for the agents with me at this moment in time but you're amazing at teaching people and real estate agents out there about the mindset and how to get over the craziness how did you exactly title it you title it a really cool way Matt well it's about owning your emotions and then owning your success right so that that because when you own your emotions you have that freedom of your emotions the emotional freedom then and mastery gives you the ability to use the analogy here of being on a boat, right, is to weather the storm of a real estate deal. Mm -hmm. Because every real estate deal has a little bit of a little bit of a wake that comes up, some waves that come up, and dealing with that and mastering your emotions as a real estate agent, how important that is. But then more importantly, where my mission is is how that affects your relationships overall with your life. And mm -hmm. the quality of your relationship really determines the quality of your life. Because, Absolutely. you know, there's someone who was married for 24 years, built a $2.4 billion business out of her garage and apartment. And because her relationship was ending in a divorce, she committed suicide. That's Kate Spade. That is when you realize, and I've had discussions literally with billionaires, that would burn down all the money, all the houses, all the property, all the stuff to have amazing relationships. Mm -hmm. So how that projects out into obviously your business and allowing your clients when you can show up in a way that even though there's the chaos of a real estate transaction that goes on, and we all know it's highly charged emotionally because for most people, it's the largest investment they're gonna make in their life buying a home. Um, even if they're investors, it's even, in, even investors get emotional with real estate. Mm -hmm. So obviously you deal with uh, mostly residential real estate agents as do I, and that area is just incredibly charged emotionally. Yes, I agree. So what insight do you have for real estate agents or business people to you know take control of the emotions? Like you said, you never want it to go down, and it's a very unfortunate path, and I actually spoke about it in my book, Create the Perfect Day, how I had a family member very near and dear to me attempt to take their life. So how, how would someone go ahead and take control of their emotions in the day-to-day -day life as a real estate agent? So the one, thing that, the one thing that I think is the most critical thing is just awareness. Awareness that we can control our emotions. Um, mm -hmm. Most people live in a state of being in reaction. There's a stimulus, they react. And they believe their emotions are a result of that. And truthfully, your emotions are really the result of a thought that happened in a nanosecond in your brain that it shouldn't be this way, you shouldn't be treated that, that way. So it really starts, I, I, I talk about it this way, in the space of a breath, I can take control of my emotions. I can literally take a breath, you know, when you were a child, probably you had a teacher or your mother or someone who said, take a deep breath, count to 10, right, and then come back or a timeout. It's almost, you can give yourself that same thing in the space of a breath and be in control of your emotions, then you can act without the emotion. <laughs> um, you know, I was having a 
conversation yesterday with a client and she's going through a rough time. And, you know, I was explaining to her that men have this place of nothing in their brain. <laughs> the space of nothing that actually exists for men. For women, it doesn't really exist in their brain because the emotions are connected to everything as they go. So to say you're going to be not emotional is just a hallucination. You're always going to be emotional, and especially women are emotional creatures by nature. The, and the neurons, the, the science has proven that the neurons, the connectivity goes to all four quadrants of the brain with the emotional connection. So it's pretty much always engaged. Um, and being able to understand that there's a thought, a rule, a judgment that this shouldn't be that way, you know, the lender shouldn't do that, or escrow shouldn't do that, or the seller shouldn't do that, all these good things that shouldn't be by your rules, what's happening, and then you're thinking that this is screwing up your, your transaction, your business, your livelihood, and so that moment of awareness, you can stop and say, wait, is this, is this being done intentionally? Or, you know, is someone, is this just part of the transaction, part of the business, part of the, the deal we're in? And then how do I manage that in that moment of awareness? So moment of awareness, take a deep breath, right? So everyone can do it with us. And it's amazing how just a deep breath like that can bring you right back down to kind of center and level. And then if you, there's kind of a three part process I do is the breath and then tune into your body. Um, men have a harder time doing this, but women usually have a really easy time of they take a breath, tune into your body, where are they feeling a sensation in their body? And then breathe it out and let that sensation leave the body as well as then choose what emotional state they want to be in. The most powerful emotional state in my opinion, and it's been taught I think by Deepak Chopra, is peace. From peacefulness, I can choose. I can choose to get mad at the other agent or, you know, the other person in the transaction from a peaceful place versus as just a reaction. I can choose to be mad at the situation um, versus just reacting and being mad and then usually going to the escalation. From that. I love that. I got a whiff of my coffee when I took that deep breath in. <laughs> uh, did, it, did it wake you up? Yeah, that, uh, yes, yes, yes. Afternoon coffee. Okay, so what other advice about, um, and, and I definitely want you to share with everyone how they can connect with you, learn more about you. I know you work closely with Tony Robbins. Um, so sure. give us another insight on how we can control our emotions. So, you know, Tony Rob bringing into Tony Robbins, obviously that was a big part of my journey. We spent, uh, between my girlfriend, partner, and I, we spent five years in the Tony Robbins Platinum Partnership Program, and that led me through this journey of understanding emotions. In Tony Robbins' language, he talks about the triad, right? There's a triad of controlling your state or emotion, your state of being. And the base of that triangle is physiology. We, I can change like that fast in my physiology. If I'm sitting here all hunched over like this and I'm at the computer all day, and then I'm probably going to be kind of sad or depressed because if I asked you to act sad or depressed without saying anything, you'd be all hunched over and kind of curled up in a ball. Yeah. So you can just stand up to, and there's Dr. Amy Cuddy has done a thing on the power poses. and that. I love that, the power pose. Yep. You can stand up. You can sit back at your desk, put your feet up, and you're like, I'm in control of this shit, right? Uh, yeah. And the analogy here on the water, but I'm in control of this thing. This is a huge power move, right? It is says, I'm the commander. And your body reacts to that. So physiology is a huge part of managing your state or your emotion. The, the other part of the triangle, so we got physiology down here. The other part of the triangle over here, this part is focus. What are you focusing on? So am I focusing on this other agent as being a complete jerk? They're blah, 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 or the lender's this, or the lender's that, or am I focusing on my outcome is we're all on the same team to try and get this transaction closed. They're doing the best they can. They may not have the same training I do. What am I focusing on? Mm -hmm. Right? And you can control, all. so far, all these things you can control, right? And then the third part of the triangle now that comes in, again, in Tony's language, is language and meaning. So now, what language am I using? Now, again, is this person screwing up my transaction or 
is this person making a mistake? Or is it, and then when you call that person, you say, you totally screwed up, you screwed up my transaction. Or if you call up and say, gee, I think maybe we're, we're not communicating right. And it's a whole different conversation that happens. And then the meaning, is this person, what happens is a nanosecond in our brain, we think this person is screwing with my livelihood, which is me getting the kill, right? Which in my historic, prehistoric brain, that's what it's doing, right? I'm gonna die because this is gonna screw up with my livelihood. This is not true, but your brain is processing it that way in a nanosecond, in reaction. So that's why for me, Tying into all that is an awareness and how I can control my state and my emotions that fast. For example, if you're in a fight with, you know, your significant other, let's say, and all of a sudden your Nana, who you love dearly, calls on the phone, and you're just, I mean, you're going at it with your significant other, the phone rings, you're like, hi, Nana, how are you? Mm -hmm. And then you hang up the phone and you choose to be mad again and then, you know, you <laughs> forget what I'm mad about. You know, I'm not forgetting I'm mad at you. <laughs> yeah, I'm mad at you, but I kind of forgot what I'm mad about and where we were, but I'm still mad. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, we had a total choice. We had total control over all those reactions. And you just, most of us think, like I said, there's a stimuli that comes in, it hits us, and we go, boom. And it's just not true. There's a stimuli that hits us, and there's pain, don't get me wrong, there's pain, there's painful events. People, there are mean people in the world, or people that are doing mean things. Now, mm -hmm. if I have a belief system that those people that do those things are unhappy people, because yep. I have a belief system, only unhappy or suffering people do mean crap. I agree, and it, and it makes me sad to think that they're unhappy. Right. So now I come from a place of empathy for that person instead of being frustrated. And then my old crazy aid of emotions is I get frustrated and I go to piss off. And then frustrated and piss off. And I spend some time in the middle here of not really too frustrated and not too pissed off. <laughs> you know, but that you was just, you just drew an eight. Eight of they call it what crazy eight? Crazy eight, like is it, of the emotional roller coaster. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Frustrated, yep. frustrated, boom, pissed off. We want the triangle. I, I envisioned um, the triangle it was back in school days. They, you know, chime it, right? The triangle, and it brings that balance and the harmony, yeah. right? And then you get into the whole spiritual side of that with what, what chimes do and breathing. And there's there's so much deeper that, you know, I go into. And, and when I do my events, training, or one-on-one -on -one stuff about the power of your breath, the power of your breathing and then the power of your mindset. And I, I have a saying that say, gratitude is the attitude that gives you altitude. Yep. So everything comes down to, I can take a breath. I can be thankful that I'm in the middle of a real estate transaction and that I have this amazing opportunity to learn something by whatever challenge is coming up. I love it. Do you have right? any triangles on your boat? Um, you know, interestingly, I don't think I do. You know, everything's round on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> we need some chimes, some triangle there on the boat. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a, this is amazing. How can people go ahead and connect and connect with you to learn more about you and your services that you offer? Yeah, cool. So I have a website, freedominrelationships.com. I'll be honest. It's more of landing page. Um, but on there, you can easily connect with me and it's really me and I have a, a marketing assistant and that's about it, right? Like I am, uh, I'm working on letting go of some of that control to be honest, but I'm kind of a control freak and I, <laughs> and I'm so relational that I'm not digital really. Like, if, you know, I'll be, I'll be candid. The website you'll look at it and go, Hmm, okay. <laughs> but you can connect with me there. And one of the offers I, I make with people when I speak or do events is if you go on to my website, you go on a product page, there's an effortless peace, love, and happiness formula. Mm -hmm. And you can download it. I think it's normally $39, but you just enter free PDF. And when you check out, then you can download it for free. I 
pretty sure I don't even collect the credit card information. I can tell you assuredly, I don't hassle anybody from there. I may follow up with you. I'd love feedback. Let me know if it worked for you, if you liked it, you hated it, don't, you know, whatever, I don't care. And you can just email through there and connect with me and I'd, I'd love to help people that way. And the little formula, there's literally five years and hundreds of thousands of dollars and, and more pain, sweat, and tears put into that little PDF formula than I'm to admit. Um, but it's amazing. And I've had just incredible comments from it. And it's super simple. Isn't that really amazing cool. how how much time, money, and effort, if people just think, oh, we just easily created this and give it away, right? And at the same time, it's so simple, right? That's why, wow. that's why my agency is called Simply Wow. Just, you know, keep it simple, right? So I know you've invested so much in yourself. I'm, I'm a believer in investing and, and personal development too. I'm so grateful for you, Matt. I'm grateful for this kind gift. I wasn't expecting that. That's super awesome. So thank you everyone. Freedominrelationships.com, free PDF to get that $39 gift. And as always, feel free to connect with me, Jessica Peterson, Simply Wow Agency, and the Luxury Team Broker at ESP Realty. Have an amazing day. Bye, everyone. Keep wowing. Woohoo!